Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer. I'm an avid reader and book blogger and welcome to my new channel. I've been reading avidly for about 10 years now and book blogging for over one. I write pretty late reviews and I want to get more critical, more in depth about them. So I did a little bit of research and I'm here to show you what that research is today. So let's get into it. The main source of my information came from How to Read a Book, A Classic Guide to Intelligent Reading by Mortimer J. Adler and Charles Van Doren. This was a fantastic resource featuring a bunch of information on how to read books more critically. The author published the book in the 1940s, but the information is incredibly relevant today. It was broken up into three parts, the four stages of reading, how to read different materials, and the ultimate goal of reading. So the four stages of reading are elementary reading, that is what you learn in school. There is inspectoral reading, which is what you do at a bookstore. You read the front or you read the back. The next one is spectoral reading, which is reading a bunch of different resources on one topic. And the last one is analytical reading, which we're going to talk about today. So the author broke up the book into 15 different stages on how to read from an analytical perspective. And I'm not going to do that to you guys today. I'm going to break it down into three easy steps. The first step is to define and classify the book. This is why you're reading. Think about one or two sentences that really summarize the book. And then you're going to want to give a classification for it. Is it nonfiction? Is it fantasy? Is it young adult? And keep that in the back of your head. The next step is to define the main problems, issues, arguments that the author is trying to make. And this will be sl split up into two parts. The first part is defining the issue with a problem or point. And the next part is to explain if it worked or didn't work. So when you're explaining what happened, you might want to give one or two quotes explaining the process, maybe it's character development, maybe it's world building, stuff like that. And the next is explaining if it worked or didn't work, if there was parts missing, if it was too much, add a little bit more, and explain it in this section. And again, you're going to want to give a quote or two explaining your argument. You're also going to want to see if the author is misinformed, incomplete in their analysis. This was geared more towards non fiction books but can still be applied to fiction as well. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. I have a lot of great content coming your way and I hope you have a great day and happy reading.